the Electoral Commission is meeting political parties and uh, it is because they want to have discussions on issues surrounding the exhibition um, of the Provisional Voters Register. Mind you, it is the Provisional Voters Register. It's not like the final one that we'll go into the elections with. The Electoral Commission has, in the last few weeks, been engaging the parties to address various concerns. Let's take you through some of the key concerns that the NDC have had with the EC regarding the electioneering process and particularly the voters register. The NDC is asking, amongst other things, that they want the Electoral Commission to allow for a forensic audit of the um, current voters register, which is the provisional one. Uh, because of some irregularities they had detected. Now, EC rejected those calls and insisted that they have mechanisms in place to correct all the identified concerns. The EC further went on to say that they, they actually public, organized a public IPAC meeting where it showed how it had corrected the anomalies. Now, in that meeting which was the first to be televised, all the parties were there to also follow and see what exactly the ECC seeks to do in correcting the voters' register. Now, at that meeting, the NDC accepted the EC's promise to release to political parties the corrected or updated version of the 2024 Provisional Voters' Register. NDC was satisfied with the decision of the EC to re-exhibit the updated Provisional Voters' Register, which has actually started today. The party, however, recommended that the re-exhibition exercise uh, be conducted online and offline at the exhibition centers. And now you need to keep this in mind that you can actually check your voter's uh, readiness, whether your voter card is ready and you can use it to vote online. And then you can also do that where you walk to um, uh, you know, one of the voting centers. I will give you more like a tutorial on how to do that in a, in a, in a short while. The Electoral Commission, however, also announced that there will be a re-exhibition which takes uh, place online from the 15th of October, which is today, to the 19th of October. So it's just a four-day exhibition exercise that will be uh, uh, happening. So you want to pay particular attention to that. Right, so I, I indicated the EC is holding another IPAC meeting. Stanley Nibley, who is a reporter who is at that meeting for us, has joined us for our phone for a quick update. Stanley, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. So to start with, what's happening? Have uh, the political party reps arrived yet? Yeah, so um, a couple of minutes ago, the chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Madame Jean Mensa, um, drove in and then he, she was actually into the auditorium to engage the political parties that have already um, reported to, to the premises. Um, so far, I can see um, the NTP has been represented. Um, the NDC is also here represented by Dr. Rashid Tanko Computer. And then I can see APC, um, the Butterfly Party or the movement is also represented. The NDP is here. Ekia Donko and Ghana Freedom Party, as well as other political parties are also here to actually partake in the um, IPAC meeting. This is the second um, IPAC meeting that is going to be telecast live for everybody to know the processes that the Electoral Commission is resorting to or recourting to to have a credible voters register. So currently, um, this is what um, has been happening here at the auditorium. But um, I must also say that the agenda for today, like you mentioned earlier, has to do with the re-exhibition of the provisional voters register that's the online version of the um, exhibition but um some of the parties are when, when i got here i was able to engage a few of the parties i spoke to um the ndc rep that is dr rashid tanko um computer who also uh, commended the ec for actually um embarking on this exercise but according to him the ec cannot resort or make uh, provision for only online reg registration, but um, there must be an in-person registration because in most of these areas in, in the country, most of our rural settings in the country, um, there are issues of challenges with the, with the uh, internet. And so not everybody can have access to the internet to check their details with the commission online. And then, but then also the electoral commission has also made another platform available that people can actually um, assess their information or details on the register, which is the, um, the provision of uh, a USSD code 
which is star seven one one star five one hash. This one requires no internet connectivity for you to actually um, get your internet. But then also in the rural areas as well, if you have this code but you don't have access to to even receive phone calls, which means that this code will be useless to you. And just as you mentioned earlier, that this um, whole exhibition will span a four day a, a four day exercise or will, will take place within a four day period. After 19th of October, after this exercise has ended, there, there will be the window window period for people who still wanted to check their details on the internet will have access to do that. But okay. as to whether they would be able to have access to have their names, if there are discrepancies with regards to their names rectified, they would have no such opportunity to do that.